the world of 2025. The race for technology, innovation and research is faster than ever. Every country is striving to attract the best minds and have them stay to build the future. At a time when every nation is working on a brain gain strategy, the biggest question is which country will truly become the home for global scientific talent. In this backdrop, a new story begins between the US and China. The US, which has long been the biggest attraction for foreign scientists and young tech talents, suddenly started closing its doors. President Donald Trump imposed restrictions on the H-1B visa. This visa had been the gateway for thousands of Indians and other foreign engineers, scientists and researchers to come to America. Trump's decision was more political than policy-driven. His MAGA Make America Great Again Again, supporters pressured for this move, fearing that foreign talent was jeopardizing American jobs. However, this restriction not only shocked foreign youth but also raised concerns for American tech companies and research institutions. Now, let's look on to the other side. China. Beijing tried to turn this situation into an opportunity. Soon after the American restrictions, China announced, We welcome the world's top talents. And with this announcement came a new weapon, the K-Visa. China's State Council recently changed its foreign entry rules and introduced a new visa category. This new visa, the K-Visa, is specifically for young talents and professionals in the fields of science and technology. The condition is that the applicant must have a degree in STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics, either from a prestigious domestic or international university. Additionally, those working in education and research fields are also eligible. The most remarkable feature of this visa is that now there is no need for a local company sponsorship to go to China. So, if you have the qualifications, China will open its doors to you. Moreover, this visa offers greater flexibility, such as multiple entries, longer stays and a wider range of activities. The holders can work not only in research but also in education, technology, culture, business and startups. In fact, this K visa is an expansion of China's existing R visa. The R visa, launched in 2013 for high-level talent, is now being extended to focus on young researchers and scientists. In other words, China has already made its move for the future. Professor Yin Chengzi from Tsinghua University believes that this step will take China's research and development capabilities to new heights. He states, it will now be easier for us to attract top-level faculty and researchers. This will accelerate innovation in fields like artificial intelligence and biotechnology. But the question arises, will foreign youth actually come to China? There are doubts. China's economy is currently slowing down, youth unemployment is rising, and the real estate crisis is making things worse. In such an environment, it may not be easy for a foreigner to change jobs or stay long-term in China. In contrast, H-1B holders in US often had the flexibility to switch companies and seek better opportunities. This flexibility attracted foreign youth to the US. However, there's another side to the story. China's education system is constantly strengthening. Tsinghua and Peking universities are now moving towards the global top 10 rankings. Almost two-thirds of Asia's top universities are now in China and Hong Kong. Moreover, China has already become a leader in fields like artificial intelligence, electric vehicles and rare earth magnets. Chinese research institutions have also started crediting scientists and data experts working in the background as seen in institutions like DeepSeek. This is considered a progressive step in the global academic world. This entire sequence of events means that the US's restrictions and China's openness could change the global geopolitical equation. While Trump may be making his supporters happy, this could harm the American tech sector in the long run. On the other hand, China is using this opportunity to position itself as the new global hub for science and technology. But the story doesn't end here. This pressure is now mounting on countries like India as well. If China and the US are attracting global talent with their respective strategies, India must also consider how it presents itself as a research and education hub. If India doesn't focus on long-term policies, talented youth may either look towards the US or head towards China. The real battle of the 21st century will not be fought over land or weapon power. It will be fought over talent. The nation that attracts the best minds will emerge as the true technological and scientific superpower. And this is the signal that China's new K-Visa sends. The future belongs to those who embrace talent and provide opportunities. 
Now is the time for this program Sunday special segment The World Around Us where we will discuss other important international news. Starting from 1st October 2025, major tax changes will begin in the US. President Donald Trump has said that if any foreign pharmaceutical company does not set up a factory in the US, a 100% tax will be levied on their branded and patented drugs. This means that pharmaceutical companies will now have to produce in the US. Trump also announced a 25% tariff on heavy trucks and a 50% tax on kitchen cabinets. Next week, new taxes will also be applied on bathroom vanities and sofas. Trump claims that foreign companies are harming US industries. According to him, these measures will strengthen US companies like Peterbilt, Kenworth, Freightliner and protect local jobs. Israel's Foreign Minister Gideon Saar has stated that his country will not take control of areas in the West Bank under the Palestinian Authority's control. He said that controlling Palestinians is not their objective. Saar also mentioned that Israeli law could potentially be applied only to those Israeli settlements that are not under Palestinian Authority jurisdiction. Several ministers have proposed annexing parts of the West Bank, which has been under Israeli occupation since 1967. This move could jeopardize the Palestinian Authority's civil and security powers and create challenges for the future Palestinian state. Former French President Nicolas Sarkozy was found guilty by the Paris court on Thursday, 25th September 2025 for illegal electoral funding and conspiring with Libya and he was sentenced to five years in prison. Sarkozy was accused of making a deal with Gaddafi to secure electoral funding and, in turn, obtaining international support from the Libyan government. He has always denied these charges. Sarkozy was also fined 100,000 euros. He claimed that he was innocent and would appeal. We end today's discussion with a question. How can the global debate of brain gain versus brain drain be understood in the context of H-1B visa restrictions in the US and China's K-Visa initiative? What opportunities and challenges does this present for India in this scenario? For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.